so today we're going to start off by doing our foundation and I'm using the Studio Fix Fluid from MAC. This is the end color NC15. My Beauty Blender is damp. Actually, I always say Beauty Blender, but it's really just the Real Technique sponge. I'm going to use my concealer and I'm going to use the NYX um, Gotcha Covered Concealer and light. So I just squeeze it onto the sponge under my eyes. This is a thicker consistency. Then I'm going to do a little bit um, where I have like extreme breakouts. So now I'm going to use the NYX HD Concealer in the shade porcelain just to highlight my skin so just in this area like that and that's just going to give just a little more coverage but it's still going to highlight because it's lighter than our skin here here and here all the way up into the center before it So since I'm in my eyes first, I want to make sure that everything is just really blended out on the eyes. And there's a really smooth base. And that I set my under eyes really well just in case we have any fallout on the eye area. And you don't want it to stick to your liquid. Because if you don't set it, then it will stick and then you'll just have to like redo your face. So make sure you get uh, underneath your nostrils really well. And then, again, just blend everything out. So I'm going to use my Anastasia Cream Contour Kit and then just place that. Starting at the ear, going towards the mouth. And then I'm doing that pretty much all over my face. So the forehead. And then I'm just placing that back into the hairline. And then underneath the lip, the jawline. And then I'm just going to pinch the brush and place it on the side of my nose. Then I'm just going to take my sponge again and I'm going to use the opposite side that I used for the foundation and then just blend everything out. And you kind of want to do this pretty quick. And the reason you want to do this quickly is because it can set really fast and you don't want it to do that. For the nose, you don't want to move the stuff around, so you want to just pounce up and down. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm just going to put that all over. So, starting in the parts where we don't 
have any contour. And then just kind of blending it onto the contour. And we have less product. Shade and Light Palette from Kat Von D. I take this warm color and just do that all over, kind of just for like a bronze. I'm about to see. Well, then I'm going to take a more precise brush. This is the Sigma F05. And then I'm going to take this contour shade right here. And just really curve out. Also the jawline. And then on the temples. And you just want to blend that into the eyebrows. of those colors so to start off this eye look you want to prep your eye with a primer I use the MAC soft ochre paint pot makeup geek peach smoothie in the crease on a Sigma E35 blending brush and you just want to apply a generous amount and that is going to be a transition shade. So I'm applying that from the outer corner all the way to the inner corner. Take M. Such a Beverly Hills Fawn and take a MAC 217 brush and just place that on the very outer corner and then into the crease. And then also placing it kind of down in this triangle area. And I'm taking that all the way from the outer corner into the inner corner as well. And then just go back on that first brush with no extra product and just blending it out. And then the same thing, taking some more of that fawn shade. And taking that first brush again and blending out the edges. Then I'm going to use the Kat Von D Shade Light Eye Palette and use the color Solos. I think that's how you say it. And a little bitty pencil brush. This is a MAC 219. Right into the crease.
but you want to keep it darker on the outer part. And then taking that 217 and blending it up. So if you want a little darker, you just add a little bit more. And I'm using this pencil brush to kind of place it where I want it. That way it stays just right there. Then I'm just going to blend that out a little bit more. So I'm just going to take it just a little further in to match this up. Ink lot 77. I'm gonna do a wing. So I like to pull my eye like this, which is not good. So I'm lining it all the way to this outer edge over here. I'm going to take just a little bit of that eyeliner and put it on like an angle brush like this and just place it like right here. A brush and blend it out. And that's just going to create some depth. Then I'm going to use a brown eyeliner. This is the Still I Stay All Day in the color Damsel. And I'm just going to line my waterline with it and kind of put it in my lash line. Some of that peach smoothie, which is the first shade that we use, and I'm just gonna kind of blend it out. Then I'm gonna use the shade Fawn and just really smoke it out and just go back in between the two. So you can take this as low as you want to. Alright, so to finish up the look, um, you want to throw on your lashes, and I'll just kind of place them. Let the glue dry almost completely. They are so much easier to put on. So then I'm just going to go in and put on mascara, and this is the Benefit Roller Lash. And then just kind of blend my natural lashes with the false ones. I'm going to use Carmelo because it is my favorite. And it's by Stila. It's the liquid lipsticks. So that completes this look. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.